You know, former Governor Frank Keating, uh, at one point this was you getting inaugurated, entering office for the first time. I'm curious, with an incoming governor, what, what advice would you have for, for Governor Kevin Stitt? Well, the most awkward position to be in is a former governor who's a, a, an admirer of the new governor, a supporter of the new governor. I'm very happy he's where he is, but he's young enough to be my son. That's what depresses me. But no, I think what Kevin Stitt brings is a successful business career a young family, how many young families have we had living in the governor's mansion? Very bright, very determined to make Oklahoma a top 10 place. All the agendas that we have to address, most particularly education, he is focused on it and he has young children in school. So I think the problems Oklahoma faces will be relevant to him and he'll be in a position to do something about it. I'm very pleased and he's you know, he's a Republican, but he doesn't dislike Democrats. He'll work very well with the Democrats and the Republicans. It's not uncommon to hear lawmakers, particularly Republicans, say they want to run government like a business. That's kind of a standard line. Here you actually have someone who's run a business. Is it, how is it different for him coming in, actually coming directly from that CEO spot? What is he going to be able to do, you know, maybe different than a, you know, a, a career politician, so to speak, who, who likes business principles but may not have that experience? Well, I think what he brings is the ability to bring everybody together and shut the door and say, look, we've got to get from point A to point B. We may have a disagreement about how to get there, but I'm not a partisan, he'll say, I'm the governor. And elections are for electioneering. We don't have that for four years, so let's work together. And I think as an individual who's run a business can say, look, the State Department of Health, for example, you can't have two sets of books. You have to have one set of books and they need to balance. So let's do this together. If the USS Oklahoma goes down, we all go down together, Republican and Democrat, business, non-business, whatever. So, I mean, I'm very optimistic. Yeah, and finally, um, you know, day one for Governor Stitt, you know, still a day of celebration, um, but he's in the office now. What's you know, what's the hardest thing, the biggest challenge you face when you're a new governor and you finally take on that responsibility? That the buck stops with you. That's the hardest. Because uh, a lot of people say, well, let me go check and find out. And everybody's saying, well, we need an answer. Yeah. And, you know, dealing with uh, death and life issues in the criminal justice system, dealing with firings, dealing with layoffs, if that needs to occur, decide to go to point B from point A versus point C from point A, you know, you have to have a real ability to land on your feet as you debate and discuss these issues. And it's not a popularity contest. You do the very best you can. You hope people will appreciate what you're trying to do and live happily ever after. Yeah. Well, Governor King, thanks so much for your you're time. Welcome. Enjoy yourself Thank you. tonight. Thank you.